Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, he's our pick. It's Mr. Nick. Yay! Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Mr. Nick Show. I'm your host, Mr. Nick, and this is my co-host, Allie. Hi. Today, we're going to be finishing up our Animals of the World series, and we're going to the largest continent on Earth, Asia. Let's get started. All right, so the first animal we're gonna be talking about is a Bengal tiger. Ooh. Yeah, pretty, and like they have like the extra fur coming around the, the jawline there, it's so cool looking. Now, if you saw our episode where we talked about the African animals, then you heard that the lion is the second largest cat animal in the world. And in our Amazon episode, you saw that the jaguar is the third largest cat in the world. Well, that means that the tiger is the largest cat animal in the world. And these Bengal tigers are normally found mostly in India, and they can weigh up to 450 pounds, and including their tail, can be nine feet feet long. Nine, that's, that's like so big. That's like the length of a car, right? That's crazy. Nine feet long. And get this. All right, for such a big cat, it must have a big bite, right? Their canine tooth, this tooth right here, that sharp one that bites things can be up to four inches long. Four inches. Let me, let me put that's longer than my middle finger. What? By a lot. Could you imagine getting bit by a tooth that big? I mean, yeah, not even close, Allie. Four inch long tooth. That's the largest of any cat. The Bengal tiger, that. That was a bad cat right there. Hey, Mr. Nick. What's up? Do you think the tigers Roar! Oh, you got me. Gosh, I didn't see it coming that time. You got me, Ali. Good job. The next animal is a panda bear. Aww, I like pandas. Yeah, they're pretty cute, huh? All right, a panda. This guy eats a lot. So much, he eats up to 12 hours a day. That's he a thought, lot. I eat a lot. I know, right? And they eat mostly bamboo. They can't actually eat small animals. I'm just being honest, but mostly bamboo, up to 26 pounds of bamboo in a day? How's there any more forest for them to live in? 26 pounds a day, amazing, yeah. And you know, most bears, when it gets cold, they hibernate. Pandas do not hibernate. No, they actually just travel a little bit down further the mountains that they usually will live in and to a warmer area when it gets cold, but they don't go to sleep for long periods of time like most bears, probably because they need to eat so much. The next animal we're going to take a look at is called a red panda. Hmm, look at that. Does that look like the panda bear we just saw? Uh, Mr. Nick. What's that? Is that the wrong name? That's what it's called, a red panda, but that's actually not a bear like the panda bear, no. The red panda is more closely related to a raccoon. Uh, it kind of looks like a raccoon, it right? like a raccoon. Yeah, and it's actually the size of like your typical house cat, so it's not that big. Mm -mm. Let's take a look at an orangutan. Oh, I like these guys. I do too. They're one of my favorites at the zoo. I do. Yeah, I see them at the zoo sometimes. I, I really like seeing the orangutans. All right, so an orangutan is also called a great ape. And the word, the name orangutan, is Malaysian for people of the forest. So I guess they think that they kind of look like people who live in the forest, which I mean, kind of. You know what's funny, Mr. Nick? What? When I saw them at the zoo, I saw a baby one playing with Legos. Really? Yeah, like a person. He was actually playing with Legos? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, yeah, I've seen them play games and stuff and kind of play with each other, but, wow, Legos. Yeah, maybe these guys are pretty smart. All right, next, let's take a look at an animal here that I have a question about this guy, okay? This is a Bactrian camel. Now, what is the difference between this type of camel and maybe other camels? Do you know? Uh, I don't know. 
this camel is the only one that has two humps. Two humps? Two humps, that's Why correct. Why does he need two? Hmm. Well, actually, people say that the humps store water, but that's not true. They actually store fat for energy. When times get a little bit tough, maybe, you know, they don't have as much food available. So they have that fat available to store as energy to use when maybe it gets cold. You know, because in Asia, it can get pretty cold in many parts of that continent. So the bacterian camel has two humps, unlike a lot of the camels we might see in Africa with one. Okay, let's take a look at this next animal, Malayan tapir. Oh, that's a... Uh... That's something. Yeah, it kind of looks like an anteater, right? So this guy, the Malayan taper, can be up to six feet long and weighs 720 pounds. He's huge. Yes, he, that's the largest of all the tapers in the taper family, 720 pounds. And they are plant eaters. But just like we saw in our African animal episode with the uh, hippo, they're also plant eaters. They can be pretty mean and aggressive to other animals and people. So I think that's just part of their defense mechanism, right? To keep people and animals away that they fear might try to hurt them. Yeah. They're not gonna eat them. But they get pretty mean and can fight them, I guess. And at 720 pounds, I would not want that coming at me. No way. All right, so in our Amazon episode, we talked about an anaconda. And in the Sonoran Desert episode, we talked about the rattlesnake. Oh, no. Mm, I think you see where I'm going with this, Allie. And I know you're not a fan of snakes, but here we go. In Asia, you might come across a cobra. Ah! <laughs> well, okay, well, I guess I'm going to finish the show by myself, or at least when I'm talking about the snakes, because Allie just left me. Hey, let's talk about the cobra. Look at this guy. So when he feels angry, he's a venomous snake, so he has poison, right? He can either bite or spit that venom at a, at a predator who's trying to get him. But he, he stands up tall and he sways back and forth and you can see he kind of puffs that hood out around his head to make him look big and he hisses. It's pretty cool, I think. I mean, a rattlesnake, it warns you by shaking its little rattle. Uh, the anaconda, I'll just give you a big old hug until you go to sleep. Hi, Allie. Oh. This is the uh, no, we're still talking about the cobra. I don't know if you want to come back yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and so he gets up and then... And he gets in there and he's showing how big and bad and scary he is so you don't mess with him. And obviously it works because my little sidekick, Allie here, well, she left him alone. All right, let's move on to the last animal. Allie, you can come back now. We're done talking about the... You know, I'll, I won't say it again. Okay, okay, uh, I won't sell it. We're talking about snakes. We're done. We're done talking about snakes. We're good. We're good. I mean, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, the last animal we're going to talk about in today's episode about the Asian animals is an Asian elephant. Oh, I like elephants. I thought you liked that a lot better than the... You, you know, I won't, I won't say snake again. I won't say, she, she didn't hear me say snake, did she? Okay, let's talk about the elephants. So the Asian elephant is the largest mammal in Asia, but it's not as large as the African elephant that we talked about in the African animal episode. The African elephants could be up to 13,000 pounds, but the Asian elephant, a mere small 11,000 pounds. So tiny. Nothing. And did you know that the Asian elephants, the women, the females, they live in herds together, but the male elephants actually tend to live alone. I didn't know that. Yeah. And I said that the panda eats about 26 pounds of food a day. That's like a crumb to this Asian elephant because the Asian elephant eats up to 300 pounds a day? Is that right? 300 pounds? That's so much food. That's, that's, that's crazy. I don't know, where do they even get all that from? It's amazing. Okay, well, I guess it makes sense why they weigh 11,000 pounds. All right, well, that concludes our episode of Animals from Asia. 
And if you need to see any of our other episodes that we did from our Animals Around the World series, go check them out because lots of interesting animals, learn a lot, see animals from all over the world that you would never probably ever get to see in person unless you live there or went to the zoo. And now you know what time it is. It's time for the joke of the day! Okay, Allie, are you ready? Ready. What goes black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white? I don't know. A panda bear rolling down a hill. <laughs> Thanks, Allie. All right, everybody, if you liked that episode, give it a thumbs up. Tell us you liked it. Hit subscribe so you can see all the episodes that we're doing. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, he's our pig. It's Mr. Nick. Yay.